Hey YouTube, so I've been asked to do an update video and sorry I haven't been making videos but I go to college so it's really hard for me to have time to make videos and go on YouTube but I have some time today and right now you are looking at um, my three babies which aren't really babies anymore they used to all be able to fit in this container right here but two can barely fit in one and believe it or not this is Lacey she has grown so much and let's take a better look at her this is my Lubino and some people are like how do you know it's a Lubino well it was bred um, to an albino red-eared slider to a leucistic albino red-eared slider um, you could tell, I don't know if you can see, but her skin is kind of pink. Um, and on her eye, you can see that there's a little dark black ring in it. Um, but overall, she's been doing really good, eating like a champ. Um, and she's growing really fast. And that's her. And this, believe it or not, is Ferrari. She is a caramel pink albino red-eared slider with high contrast. And as you can see, it used to be lighter around the edges over here, but there is some dark um, speckling which caramel pinks change drastically as they grow and I really like the way this looks and before she had a little black dot right here which turned into a line which is kinda cool and makes her unique and she's growing really well so this is her doing really good and I have Bugatti, which is a hypo pastel yellow belly slider, which has darkened up a bit, but you could still see that there is um, her pattern there. She does have some split scoots, but that's okay. And she still has a ring around her nose. Not sure male or female on any of these yet. But um, you can see that this one's actually small, smaller than Lacey now. And this one's doing good. They all get along together. And then if you come over here to my tank, you have... Ferrari right there and then Carmella they are both caramel pink albino red eared sliders and you can see how much Ferrari has grown and Carmella is doing good she actually started shedding you can't really see it on this camera but she has shed a couple times. She's darkened up a little bit in the center, but she still has the lighter ring around the edges. So this is her. Put her back. And here's George. Of course, trying to bask on the dock that he doesn't fit on. There's a bigger one over there, but he likes the smaller one for some reason. And this is him. He's huge. And George is in shed again. This is a perfect example of a turtle shed. Basically the scooch just push themselves off and they fall off as the shell is getting bigger you can see even on their stomach 
the shell uh, comes up and falls off. But I mean, George is doing great. Now that it's getting nicer outside, I've been taking him outside to get some natural sunlight. Um, he's huge. You can see compared to these guys. And they all get along together, which is really good. I will put him back. See, he's better on this dock. <laughs> and there they are. Tank has a little bit of algae in it, but that's all right. My pleco did die. I don't know what happened, but you know, plecos don't really last that long with turtles. We'll put them back in here. I just took them out to show you guys <clears throat> them individually. But they're doing great. Here's just a quick update. And hopefully I will have time to make videos soon, but I can't promise anything. Um, a lot of people have been asking to do an update video. So here it is. I was in love with my filter, my Eheim filter, when I first got it, but it could do a better job. Um, it doesn't really pick up the uh, waste as much as I would want it to, so I end up cleaning the tank very often. But then again, I do have five turtles in one tank. And turtles are messy, so that's what you would expect. But, um, so here's just a quick update on my turtles. And I will see you guys later. Bye.